right, I want to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about inductive reasoning, conjecture, and then we're going to do a problem that uses those, um, those terms. And I actually want to do this out of order. We're going to start with conjecture. Conjecture is an unproven statement that's based on observations or sometimes called an educated guess. So let me write that down. It's an, um, it's an unproven statement. And that unproven statement is going to be based on observations. And sometimes it's called an educated guess. All right. And then going back up to inductive reasoning, this kind of encapsulates all of this, is what we call conjecture and things. And inductive reasoning um is looking for a pattern based off of conjecture or by making a conjecture all right so again looking for a pattern by making a conjecture um, we can do that using this problem here. This says 2, 5, 11, 23, then what? So what's the next um, term in this sequence? Well, how do we get there? From 2 to 5, we went up 3, or we added 3. From 5 to 11, we added 6. 11 to 23, added 12. So I'm seeing a pattern already, is that we are doubling what we add each time. Right? I started with 3, I doubled it to get 6, doubled 6 to get 12. So I have to double 12 then, which is 24, and that's what I'm going to add, and that would give me 47. All right, but there's more than one way to get there. That's partly why this is conjecture, because what if I said I double this first one and then add 1 times 2 plus 1? Would that give me 5? Yeah. What about 5 times 2 plus 1? Well, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. So if I jump to the last one that I knew... 23 times 2 plus 1. 23 times 2 is 46. 46 plus 1 is also 47. So you can get there in more than one way with some of these by, getting, by using conjecture and inductive reasoning.